and high above the field in Chopper 4. This is KOB4's coverage of the 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Mexico and everyone else watching us here. Thank you for joining us. I'm Tessa Mintis with my great friend, Chief Meteorologist Eddie Garcia. We made it. We made it. Yeah. <laughs> Despite all the traffic getting here, it is yeah. really just great. Looking around, the sky is clear as can be. We had uh, some concerns earlier about clouds. That is not the problem. And of course, it's not just the final week in a balloon fiesta. Mm -hmm. This is eclipse day. Yes. Finally. And we kind of assumed, right, that it was going to be one of the busiest days. Oh, yeah. And, and because it's been such a successful fiesta so far, <laughs> only one morning that we haven't been able to have a mass ascension or, or a liftoff, if you will, because of weather. But this has been one of the, the more successful fiestas in oh, at yeah. least a decade. It really has been. Uh, last year, we had those problems with the rain storm yeah. just forming over the uh, park. But this year, it has absolutely been great. And that's going to be true for this entire week. Weekend. Those it's gonna problems be were so 2022. So 2022. Yeah. We're past that we're now, done. right? <laughs> um, everything is delayed about 10 minutes today. Yeah. So at some point, we're probably going to have to uh, take a break uh, for the national anthem. But there you see the official green flag. Oh. I think everything that, that we were expecting today, Eddie, because yeah. it's it's just perfect. 48 degrees right now. Winds are, are very, very calm, if any. I don't feel so, it at all. So calm. You know, I think that Kira was uh, tracking those winds earlier, and they were less than five miles per hour. And certainly, we saw Dawn Patrol take off with no problems, and the crowd is just insane. Yeah. Tessa, I, you know, I don't know if I've seen this many people before uh, at an event like this, but of course, you know, we have the Eclipse to thank for that, which yes. is going to be here starting at about 915. Uh, but yeah, there you go. I think some cold air inflations are happening happening right now yep. and uh, I think that our producer was telling us that the delay was because of traffic people yes. having trouble just getting to the park well I can attest to that yeah I know you know usually <laughs> we always talk about what time we need to leave to yes. get there yes. and I left 10 minutes earlier than what our <laughs> friends had told us and man Alameda <laughs> heard some choice words from oh, me today oh yeah but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's we, okay we got here but yes you, uh, you were saying 10 minute delay on all the events because of the traffic because of the fact that we still have some pilots trying to get here absolutely uh, that's, yeah that's how crowded it was and that is on par with what happened opening weekend as well because uh -huh. we were just expecting so many people this year because of the eclipse happening today and you know we've i think we've basically shaken off the whole pandemic thing yes uh, people are back out and about and enjoying and uh, i'm just so pleased to see the number of people People out here who, who really want to see Balloon Fiesta, but also uh, here for the Eclipse. And of course, it's going to be a great show. Uh, but of course, we have to get the balloons in the air first, which I don't think is going to be a problem at all no, for any in, of the waves. In fact, we're seeing probably about two dozen balloons, like you said, Eddie, starting mm -hmm. to cold inflate. Uh, at this point, just your teardrop balloons, none of the special shapes that I can see quite yet. Those really don't get going until after the national anthem and all yeah. the pomp and circumstance. But uh, how about the drone show today? Oh, it's always astounding. Yes. Like, it's it's not even like me trying to hype the thing up. It no. is so cool to see. <laughs> yeah. And you know, it was it was amazing to be. I was watching it on the field, mm -hmm. so I was among uh, everyone out there, and the collective oohs and ahs yes. with uh, each shape was just amazing. It's it's this. Sh I, I will say, balloon fiesta gets better every single year. Mm -hmm. But you add this drone show, and it's just just the, another level. It's something else. Well, it's something that all generations can experience yeah. and appreciate, right? Like, I'm out here today with my husband and my two kids, five and seven. That's right. And all four of us, when, those, when the drones went off, we just, yeah. you know, like little you drop kids what you're doing. something you've never seen before. <laughs> um, but that's kind of the magic of 
balloon fiesta sure. anyway. It, it's yeah. just you you kind of get to just be a kid again with the colors and yeah. the, the, the magical experience. And we're going to have that today. Everything becomes better, too, at Balloon Fiesta. Uh, the breakfast burritos, which you can smell in the air. Isn't it true? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was just walking down the boulevard uh, having that breakfast burrito, and everyone was smiles all around. Yeah. Well, I think we have some trivia we're going to get to, huh? You know we have some trivia. You know we do. All right. Let's see. So, Let's get to our first trivia question. You know what? We're going to start with an easy one, Tessa. All right. This one is going to, you know, we're all trying to wake up right now, so we're going to start with the easy one. Yeah. Um, what is the Albuquerque box? So we have some options for you. Uh, your options are a wind pattern, the flight area, or what lunch comes in. <laughs> Again, uh, KOB.com slash vote and make sure you click on the news tab to join the fun. Uh, but for now, we're really just going to uh, see the beautiful sights of even the inflations yep. are cool to see, you know? Yep. So we'll oh take a, a quick little break from us. Everybody sit back, go ahead and top off your coffee cup if you're at home and enjoy the 51st annual International Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. everybody so we are hearing the national anthem is going to get started here in about the next 30 seconds and that means we're officially getting started with this day of balloon fiesta this is the biggest one yet i think you know and yeah. so it's really going to be a show and of course oh my gosh the crowd is getting excited you they, can know, hear it? they know they can feel it you can all right everybody we'll uh we'll toss it and let you enjoy the national anthem and then we'll join you Nice. Keep those burners burning. It got warmer here on the field. I know. When Can everyone they fly by that. again? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> that, of course, is the official kickoff of Balloon Fiesta, the national anthem. And now everyone's ready for the greatest show in our state. Yep. You know, 
I don't know if you heard, if, it, if my mic picked it up, but I heard the jingle jangle of Steve Stucker's jacket. <laughs> he is here. He's prowling around. The balloonatic himself is back. He's going to join us here in a little bit, but for now, we'll let you enjoy the, the first inflations and takeoffs here at Balloon Fiesta.
are back, everybody. I want to give you a look at our KOB4. Stands for New Mexico Balloon. There it is. We are having a lot of fun already today. Also with some trivia, Eddie. Oh, yeah. So we asked you a little bit earlier before the break, what exactly is the Albuquerque box? And, you know, I think a lot of people from New Mexico have have this yep. answer down pat. Yep. There we go. 81% voted a wind pattern and of course that is the correct answer. That Albuquerque box is when wind is blowing in different directions at different levels. So in a perfect scenario that means that the balloon will land close to where it took off because those upper level land winds ideally will bring you back. All right and we want to go ahead and give you our second question. What is the th theme of this year's balloon fiesta. Your options, fiesta days, a view from above, or time flies. And again, kob.com slash vote and click on the news tab to join the fun. But for right now, let's enjoy those balloons taking off even as we speak. everybody and welcome to our continuing live coverage of the 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. We've been doing this 51 years and this gentleman finally got here. Bob Spore joining us for the first time. Yes. How did you originally hear about Balloon Fiesta? Well actually this isn't my first time but about 35 years ago I was stationed here in, in New Mexico. Ah, and came by, the so. airbase. Huh? Yes. Okay and you're here with the artisan's tent. Yes, this yes. This is one of your pieces of work. Tell yes. us a little bit about this beautiful thing. Well, it's a segmented hot air balloon vase. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I have a little shop back in Sacramento, California, and that's uh, my third career now. How, how's your week been out here? It's been marvelous. I mean, it's just the people, the atmosphere. I mean, it just couldn't be any better. Now, we say artisan's tent. Tell us how to find it for people that are coming out to the field later today, tonight, or tomorrow morning. 
morning? It's a it's a large tent at the north end of the field, and uh, I mean you can't miss it. It says big artisan at the top. And I assume you're not the only artisan in there. <laughs> no, I'm not. There's a lot of talented people in there with jewelry and purses and balloons and uh, just all kinds of wonderful art. Well, we should have a crowd a little later than normal today because of the eclipse that's coming up. Yes, really excited for that. <laughs> should be quite spectacular. We wish you the best. Tell everybody back home hello and tell them to come see us next year all right all right everybody at home hey <laughs> in california come on in thank you very much for joining us thank you
Good morning. This is the 51st annual Balloon Fiesta. I'm Eddie Garcia and Tessa Mentis and I are here for the big day, Eclipse Day. Oh yeah. But not only that, this crowd size is unbelievable, Tessa. Massive and they are getting quite a show. Most of, a lot of the teardrops, I should say, have taken off, but now we're seeing the special shapes that we love and there she is. Oh, look. The woman of the hour. Mm -hmm. Arabelle, our Creamland cow. And you were saying, Eddie, it's, it's, it has to be absolutely per She has high standards. She, you know what? Arabelle knows what she wants. Yep. And that is calm wind. And uh, Steve and I were just talking about the fact that uh, it's usually rare to mm -hmm. see Arabelle actually take flight. Sometimes she will inflate but not take off. Uh, but Steve told me, you know, uh, she's taken off uh, at least once or uh, multiple times so far. Yeah. This balloon fiesta, for, for me, that's a success already. Already. Absolutely. <laughs> we know everybody at home is having fun playing our Balloon Fiesta trivia today. So the last time we asked you, what is the theme of this year's Balloon It is a view from above. Nice. Let's go ahead and get to our next question, our next trivia question. Of course, everybody loves the special shapes at Bloom Fiesta. That crowd is absolutely in awe right now. So the question is this. Do you know how many special shapes are registered at this year's Balloon Fiesta? Your options are 50, 107, or 135. KOB.com slash vote is the place to go to join in on all the fun just click on the news tab and we're going to have the answer for you just a little later in the show but let's enjoy the balloons for now they're getting going and oh what a show
no, she's fine. Hello and good morning. Welcome to our continuing live coverage of the 51st annual Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Beautiful day. We've got what they call a tall box in effect and uh, going to be beautiful as the hundreds of balloons take to the Albuquerque skies. We're trying to highlight some of the things that are going on besides the balloons and with us this morning is Rose and I'm finding out that she and I have a couple of common interests, uh, both ballooning and dogs and you've got your beautiful pup here this is freedom i understand it's freedom. tell us a little bit about freedom she's a service dog in training she's going to a disabled veteran and she was actually donated by karen badoni oh wonderful yeah. wonderful and well uh this this can be a, a difficult place for dogs and typically dogs are not allowed except for sp special situations like you're involved in you're in the artisan's tent what are you doing over there yes i am selling um earrings uh -huh. <laughs> and ornaments to support the service dogs. Wonderful, wonderful. Mm -hmm. So the the artisan's tent is at the far north end of the field. It is, far and north now, end. Is this your first time there or have you been there before? It is my first time. How's your experience? Been? It's exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> Long busy days, huh? It is. Well, I think today may be one of the busiest because of the special things that are be going on in the middle of the day with the eclipse coverage and everything. Yes, I'm not even going outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we'll uh, we'll get pictures of it and uh, make sure you see it. But uh, again, you can visit Rose and Freedom at the uh, tent. I understand you have a sign up that reminds people that uh, the proceeds go to train the service dogs for veterans. Yes, and the, it's the veterans get them for free. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Well, thank you for doing that. We appreciate that. And you've got what for you here? Look at that. Ah, look at the Reestress. Ah, my wife Rose will love that. We love we love the red chili Reestress. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll hold on. My fingers are frozen. <laughs> oh, there I dropped them all over. Oh, my goodness. Well, we'll take care of that in just a moment. Anyway, uh, we're going to go back to our coverage. Rose, thanks for coming by. Freedom, you have fun today, and thanks for all you're doing for our vets. Thank you.
How well do you know your balloon fiesta, everybody? We are testing your knowledge this morning. Do you know how many special shapes are registered this year? Your options, 50, 107, or 135. So go ahead and head on to KOB.com slash vote. And just click on the news tab. The answer is coming up after the break. Back everybody. So before we took a little break, we asked you how many special shapes are registered at this year's Balloon Fiesta. And I think most of you are on the right path here. That's right. Yep. A uh, very large percentage got the answer is 
One hundred and seven. One oh seven. One oh yeah. <laughs>I got to tell you, I have a splitting headache right now, and I have Eric, Eric Hunt, to thank for it. <laughs> they call you the Spoon Man. Yes. Tell me what's behind the name. Okay, so uh, we make jewelry and different things out of silverware. That's how our business started. Uh, about We've been going for about 50 years. My dad started oh, wow. it, then I do it, and now I'm with my nephew that also helps me. Yeah. And uh, we kind of graduated into some funny stuff, too. And so we yeah. make about 30 different, you know, head accoutrements. So. We, we saw you uh, uh, going around having people try on these little uh, creations of yours. Yeah. 
how do you do it? What got you into this kind of work? Yeah, so basically my dad started making spoon rings in the late 60s and early 70s okay. and uh, taught me how to do it. And then um, I've taught my kids and my nephews, and which has all been a family thing, and that's where it came from. And we've just added new products every year for the last 50 years. That's incredible. So you are here, this is your second uh, year in a row. Second year on Concession Row, yep. We're space 102. Uh, we make spoon rings. I got a couple on here. We laser engrave balloons and uh, the eclipse on them. We also have rings you can choose a handle and we'll make it in front of you as well. So what we're wearing, is that for sale? Can that people get stuff like this? Also for sale. Yeah, we have about 30 different ones. I brought three today, but we have anything from tools to medical things to... That's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. And, and of know, course, the late... Real. <laughs> it is very, very... You, you, you can see that uh, that is going to be like a gag in a movie, too, of course. They're a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Eric, yeah, for joining us. No and uh, as you mentioned, that we can, you can buy this stuff if you come here for Balloon Fiesta. And the Eclipse is just a little over an hour away. Tessa, how yeah. are you doing? I'm sorry. I took a break. I was over there sharpening my mind. Very, <laughs> you really have a way of doing that. <laughs> just yeah. scratch that head. There we go. Well, some people would say, oh, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get our heads checked out. You enjoy this, uh, <laughs> this uh, show of Blue Fiesta with the sights and sounds. <laughs>
I hope you're enjoying the show because we are having a lot of fun with some trivia this morning. So our current question is, how many new special shapes made their Balloon Fiesta debut this year? We have three options for you. Um, there is the option of A, 50, B, 5, and C, 12. So far, a lot of you are voting. It looks like for uh, C, when we get back from the break, we will let you know what the correct answer is. Stick with us. Live from Balloon Fiesta Park and high above the field in Chopper 4, this is KOB4's coverage of the 51st Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta.
Mexico and to everyone else joining us here for our 51st annual Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. There's Eddie's favorite, oh, Mon Monty. Monty the Black Sheep. And our photographer, Joey Wright, yes. is in the gondola for oh. Monty. And we're hoping, fingers crossed, everybody, that once they lift off, we'll be able to get a signal and he'll be able to, to share some shots from Monty's oh. gondola once he takes flight. That is going to be so cool. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, before we the break, we had a trivia question for you. Uh, the question is this. Speaking of Monty, how many new special shapes made their balloon fiesta debut this year? And a lot of you said... Oh, all of, all of you. Everyone. Yeah. Everyone said... 12. <laughs> that would be the correct answer. Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it? Our viewers are who you cheat off of in school. That's right. They've gotten all of them right so far. They, they know their stuff about Loon Fiesta. So we have yep. another another question for you. Mass Ascension is the biggest event at Balloon Fiesta each morning. Nearly 550, Tessa, wow. balloons are registered to participate this year. So do you know how many waves of hot air balloons launch during a typical mass ascension? Your, Your options, options? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Two, three, or five. I bet you thought C was going to be four, but we three <laughs> off. <laughs> Get in on the fun at KOB.com slash vote. It's easy to do. You just go under the news tab at KOB.com slash vote. All right. We're going to, we're seeing some more of those special shapes start to inflate, Eddie. So we're going to sit back. Oh, there she is. Bella the Bulldog. Bella, your favorite. Oh, my favorite. Bella, Bella ran into some problems earlier this fiesta, but uh -huh. she's got a great pilot. And there goes Monty. He's Monty. starting to take off. So everybody, when we're going to sit back, let you get some more shots of wonderful Balloon Fiesta, and hopefully we'll be able to take some shots from the gondola of Monty with our photographer, Joey Wright.
Oh, this has been a great morning so far. And, you know, Balloon Fiesta is an experience unlike any other. I mean, just being out here, it is gorgeous. Joining me right now is Aaron Pensabene. And you have a very unique experience that you're sharing with folks out here. Absolutely. Uh, and your, your company name is Evergreen? Evergreen Arts, yes, sir. What are you doing out here that is related to virtual reality or VR? So what we're doing is we took a bunch of different camera footage with a 360 camera and attached it to a bunch of different flights. So Dawn Patrol, Splash and Dash, you know the experience synonymous with the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. And then we ported that over to VR and so people can experience a virtual flight and it feels like you're actually in the basket. So you have a booth here and you have these VR headsets that people can, uh, they, they, they can pay for a ride. Tell me a little bit about uh, how, how people get on board for this. So we have a kiosk down to the south end of the field. Come see us. It'll say balloon flights. We'll be happy to get you in. Just come in line. And it's spectacular. Honestly, it's the closest you can get to flying without actually getting in the basket. And you know, that's really a good point because um, uh, flying, it can be expensive. And this is uh, an alternative that's almost as close as the real thing, right? Absolutely. And like I, I've flown more times than I can count, but not enough to stop. And this is the closest I've ever been to getting in a basket without flying. Can you tell people uh, your price point and what they need to expect whenever they come to your booth? Yeah, so it's about it's fifteen dollars per experience and it's ten minute ride. Um, and other than that, just come on, say us, we'll get you all set up. We do sanitize the headsets in between each use, um, just to keep an extra layer of protection for them and as, us as well. And this is for everyone, even those who may not have the uh, ability to go up in a in a real air balloon. Absolutely, we wanted to offer that to people that don't have the access for whatever reason that may be, to give them the opportunity to experience what it's like to fly and bring them the joy that we all feel. That's incredible. So if you want to take part of a VR balloon flight, what a time we live in, right? We are so blessed. So we are awesome. so spectacular. Thank you for having us. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we are going to let you see more of the show. You know, we have more special shapes which are inflating, and we also have our photographer, Joey Wright in Monty the Black Sheep. We're going to try to get you live shots from inside the gondola here in just a little bit, but stay with us and enjoy the show.
Good morning, everybody. Let's reveal the answer to our latest trivia question. So we. during a typical mass ascension. And most of you said. Yeah, most of you said. C. C5. Uh, whoa. I spoke too soon about how smart our viewers were. <laughs> My goodness. You know what? That was kind of a tricky one, though. The, the yeah. actual uh, correct answer is two. Uh, it takes about two hours for both waves to launch. You know, actually, yeah. that kind of surprised me. I thought it might have been like several waves because of how no, large event is. I get it. And to be quite honest, it it's not like, oh, they all go up in one wave and then there's an intermission and then right, there's another right. wave. It's kind of sporadic. Exactly. Um, you know, the whole sporting of ballooning is kind of when you think about well, it. Well, when anything is weather dependent, yeah. you know that it yeah. is going to sort of go with the way nature's uh, going. We have another uh, question for you. So here's uh, here's a really cool one, uh, Tessa. Balloon okay. Fiesta holds a Guinness World Record for a pretty spectacular mass ascension. Uh, do you know how many balloons participated in 2019's World Record Hot Air Balloon Ascent? You have three options. Uh, the first is 524, 300, or 450 balloons. As you've been doing all morning, just go to kob.com slash vote so you can join in on the fun. Click on the news tab, and we're going to share that answer with you a little later. But for now, let's go back to getting a look at all those beautiful balloons out there.
There are so many sights and sounds here at Balloon Fiesta, not to mention the crowds, especially on days like today. And we should mention that I think as of about an hour ago, all the Balloon Fiesta parking lots were completely full. They were having to turn people away. So everybody really uh, showed up and, and showed out for today's uh, mass ascension. But we also know that these crowds can be overwhelming for a lot of people. And that's where Culture City comes into play. I have Erica D'Souza here. So Erica, for a lot of people, can you just explain what is Culture City? What is your guys' mission? You're a nonprofit and you do some incredible work here. Yeah, so Culture City is essentially a nonprofit and we are focused on creating a community of inclusion and awareness for people, um, specifically those with sensory processing needs and invisible disabilities. So that's anything like autism, Down syndrome, PTSD, traumatic brain injury, any of those things that you know you can't tell by looking at a person if they're going through a hard time. So here at this event, you know, there's a lot, like you mentioned, a lot of different things that can be triggers. Um, people can be prone to sensory overload, getting overstimulated. So here at Balloon Fiesta, we are so excited to be here. Um, we have essentially a sensory trailer. So it's kind of like a quiet room, sensory room, that kind of idea. And then we're also offering these sensory bags to people. Nice. Okay. Um, they're free. We're sponsored by Pool and Design Center here at the Balloon Fiesta. And they have noise canceling headphones, different fidget tools, uh, communication card for anyone who's non-speaking. So those tools are kind of designed to, to help somebody who's yeah. having a harder time here. And I was telling Erica earlier that we already had one uh, young gentleman come down and say, hey, did you check out the sensory booth yet? So it's already making its mark here in just the first year. And you had said the same thing. I think one of your colleagues heard somebody, you know, a, a little kid was having a tough time and just word of mouth, this booth has already become a good success here. Yeah, it's been incredible. We've had a ton of people come up to us and say, that they saw us either on different interviews with the news, um, on social media. They just have already heard of us. So we're excited to be spreading the awareness. Well, if there's anywhere where we could need your services, it's definitely here. Eddie and I were just talking about just how stimulated you get with all the colors and the crowds. And, and you're looking at this balloon and then that balloon. If people are thinking about wanting to come out tomorrow, or maybe they've been apprehensive because they have a loved one who has struggled with these invisible disabilities, or if they're not coming to Balloon Fiesta but want to learn more about your mission, where can they go to get some more information? Um, they can go to our website. It's culturecity.org. We also have an app that you can check out, and that has all of the venues that we partner with. Um, we have over 1,800, I think, now um, across the U.S., so those are all venues that are trained um, and have our resources available there. And then here at the Balloon Fiesta, if somebody's coming out um, tomorrow, we're located by the Wayfinder Tower, number one, kind of next to the T-Mobile activation. So that's where you can find our trailer and pick up a bag. Awesome. Erica, thanks so much. And thanks for everything you're doing out here. Really letting more families enjoy the, the magic that is Balloon Fiesta in a safe way for them. Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. All right, everybody, we're going to get back to giving you a great look at all of the wonderful things happening here at Fiesta. Smokey Bear struggling a little bit to get up this morning, but we'll see if he makes it.
everybody let's see if we've redeemed ourselves shall we <laughs> oh wait i don't think we're we're not revealing the answer yet so we no. oh we are. we are yeah we are okay here we All go right. do you know how many balloons participated in 2019's world record hot air mass ascension and most of you said with 81 percent yes 524 balloons and most of you would be right uh -huh. the correct answer is 524 balloons which is just amazing of yeah. course that would break a world record that's of incredible course it would. great stuff okay we have another question, yeah? We do have another question? All right. Do you, ha you have one. that? Yeah, I do. All right. All right. So this is the last question of the morning. This is a lightning round, all right? Oh, okay. So this one is a balloon fiesta wouldn't happen without the help of a lot of volunteers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So on average, how many chase crew volunteers are needed during balloon fiesta? Your options are 500, 1,000, or 2,000. So make sure you go to KOB.com slash vote, then click on the news tab. The answer is coming up just a little bit later, Tessa. Ironically, those are the same options for how many breakfast burritos does Steve Stucker <laughs> eat during Balloon Fiesta. That's right. That's right. That's going to be a separate poll here in a little bit. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us this morning so far. We've had so much fun, and we're going to be here with you for the next 30 minutes as we keep looking at all those balloons trying to take flight today.
everybody. Thanks for joining us here as we celebrate the 51st annual Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. And we knew that today was going to be a little bit of a hectic day. <laughs> joining me is Tom Garrity, spokesperson for Balloon Fiesta. Tom, you've been doing this for so many years, but, but rarely, if ever, have we had an annular eclipse on what is already, you know, Saturdays are pretty busy for Balloon Fiesta as it is. Yeah, they really are. And, you know, what a special time. You know, a lot of us were talking about how unique this is going to be because we have the opportunity to have a, another a thousand balloons in 2000 kind of moment. One of those special moments at Balloon Fiesta with the annual eclipse. Mm -hmm. And so we're having um, a glow whenever it becomes a, a, the total eclipse there. Uh, tell us what you're expecting today or what people can expect if they're here at the park for the eclipse. Yeah, so if people are here at the park for the eclipse, what they can anticipate is, is that we're going to clear out an area for 72 balloons, center stage. Stage, uh, to get set up for a uh, for a for a glow, and that'll be they'll start setting up about 10 o'clock. Glow uh, the uh, eclipse will start about 9:13. So 9:13 to 10, we're going to have programming from the stage, which includes uh, experts as well as a number. Uh, the 44th Army Band is going to be up there playing songs as well. So it'll be really kind of lighthearted and fun. And then at uh, about 10:30 uh, or so, we're going to have someone from NASA kind of talk through what's going to be happening. We have plenty of glasses at the park, uh, both you know for free and that people want to buy a commemorative edition. We have those at the uh, at the uh, merchandise tents as well. Seventy-two balloons. Why that number? You know, it's for 1972, the year that uh, the balloon fiesta first launched to the skies with 13 balloons. And uh, yeah, so we just wanted to find a way to commemorate it. It's such a unique event. We might as well use a, a unique number. I would say so. And it, was there a process to figuring out which balloons would be participating? All of these balloons were hand selected by the balloon fiesta management. So, you know, everyone who's out here today is here for a purpose. And uh, we're thrilled that ever, all of Albuquerque, and I think most of the U.S., are out here today it seems I think so too we were joking about my traffic dilemma getting in today and I think that's the reason why you were saying NASA reps are here they're gonna be talking about all the science behind what's happening um, it, you want to explain a little bit more about what they're doing here I know they're also handing out the eclipse glasses as well yeah NASA was very good to provide us about 80,000 eclipse glasses and then in addition to that we uh, um, you know we have about another 20 on standby 20,000 as well but NASA is set up here at the field. Uh, they also have a display up at the Balloon Museum. Uh, out at the field, we have, uh, they're set up right next to the Balloon Discovery Center. Okay. And uh, they have a number of different experiments uh, that people can do hand, hands-on, uh, you know, kind of things to learn more about the eclipse that's going to be happening. This is truly a once-in-a-lifetime experience for so many people. Tom, thanks so much. You, you and your team do a great job every year, especially helping us out in all of this craziness. And, and it's nice to experience this with you. It's a great volunteer team. Thank you, Tessa. Great to be here. Thanks so much. Okay, I think we're going to sit back and take some more looks at what's happening out on the field.
are bringing you some beautiful shots from uh, Monty the Black Sheep. Our photojournalist Joey Wright is up there, so he's giving us perspective uh, live. Isn't it amazing, it the really era is. that we live in, live from a gondola? Uh, and uh, right now, we're going to ask you once again, before we go to break, our final trivia question. Mm -hmm. Do you know, on average, how many Chase Crew volunteers are needed during Balloon Fiesta? Your options are 500, 1,000, or 2,000. You can still go to KOB.com slash vote to put in your answer. And like Eddie said, this is our last trivia question question for today. Thanks for everybody for playing along. We'll be right back.
Welcome back and thank you for joining us for this 51st annual Balloon Fiesta, which is really just been an amazing success all week long. Um, and things are getting set up for the annual eclipse. Yes. There is going to be a balloon break. Before we talk about that, before the break, we asked you the question, on average, how many Chase Crew volunteers are needed during a balloon fiesta? And most of you, once again, were correct. The answer is two. Thousand Chase crews help inflate and deflate the balloons, and they can also assist with landings. That's an extremely important job, perhaps the most important of the whole process. And we want to thank you all for playing along with us today. We had a lot of fun. That's the, the final question for today. But if you join our team tomorrow, they're going to have questions as well. They will, and we want to thank our crew who uh, come out here for countless hours. Yeah. Drew, our floor manager, and all the people who are in the production truck working to make this show possible. Mm -hmm. I really am proud to work with this KOB team. We always joke about how early we have to get up, and it's oh, yeah. nothing compared to everybody behind the scenes who do so much work even before anyone's thinking of Balloon Absolutely. Fiesta. I mean, it really is a situation where as soon as Fiesta's over, we start thinking about how we're going to prepare for next year. And Absolutely. so we, as you know what, I'd like to think this is our chase crew. I'll all of our KOB4 production staff behind the scenes. Thank you guys, you do an awesome job. Absolutely. And now we're going to uh, show you the sights and sounds of Balloon Fiesta as we now start to get ready for the annual eclipse.
Welcome back, everybody. Thanks for joining us here for the 51st annual Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. And it is our honor to have Albuquerque Mayor Tim Keller joining us today. Welcome, Thanks Mayor. for being here. Good morning. Great to be here. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about the amazing crowd out here today. Yeah. It seems like it's the most crowded it's been. So it is amazing in that we all think this is going to be a record-breaking day. Yeah. It's hard to tell because at Balloon Fiesta, the numbers kind of come in a little later. You know, we're still active out here on the field. And, you know, for at least two more hours with the eclipse on the way. So really, it's like a bonus show. You've got the morning, you know, uh, whole setup that we know and love. Now you've got eclipse and then, you know, glow action tonight. So it is truly a once-in-a-lifetime day at Balloon Fiesta Park mm -hmm. in Albuquerque. We've talked about just how successful the week has been with the weather and the crowds and you've had some fun experiences this week you got to ride in the balloon of the day at one point you got into the competitive spirit too so how was it for you I tell you it has been uh, an amazing week I think for the whole city and that we got lots of good weather cooperation which always helps but all the organization really went off with different activities in a great way for our city so you know traffic's always a challenge but by and large all things considering you know I think we did okay and um, for me, the competition was amazing. You know, uh, I got to tell you, it was it is really stressful up there with all those balloons going up and down. You're trying to throw a bean bag and everything. It was really cool. So I always remind locals, you know, when we Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is actually a great day at Balloon Fiesta Park. And it's very different. Smaller yeah. crowd. The balloons are coming in instead of going out. And so that was really cool because I hadn't experienced that in a while. And, you know, outside of uh, going up in a balloon, there's plenty of attractions here. Big names like NASA. They have a VR standout here. Uh, talk, talk about just some of the big partners that we have. So, you know, this one, I tell you, the Balloon Fiesta Museum, which a lot of locals even may may not be aware of, it is like off the hook this week <laughs> and today. There is a massive, like, scientist kids party going on That's right awesome. there. I cannot get my kids out of the museum this year. <laughs> uh, they have so many cool exhibits, so lots of virtual reality, all sorts of uh, science engagement and then um, you know even for watching the eclipse they have uh, all sorts of explanatory uh, lectures and I mean it's, it's unbelievable it's a packed house that's awesome. at the Blue Museum which is really special to see that's awesome Mayor Keller thanks so much for joining us uh, to, to just kind of start to cap off what has been a really great fiesta for our city you got it and a good reminder for folks look even if, if it was too busy today etc look we still have tonight and one more day tomorrow yes we do all right, everybody, we are going to, we got about nine more minutes with you. So what better way to spend it than to continue to, to see what's happening on the field right now. They're preparing for that glow during the eclipse.
boy. What a great show it's been. Thanks for joining us. Tessa has her entourage here. Some I special do. guests. I do. I've got my little girl, Annie, and my little boy, Rhett. Um, you know, no offense to the balloons, but we needed the hats with the oh, ears yeah. today, and all was well after. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, and enjoy them while they're this age because they'll be teenagers soon. One, one <laughs> of them sorry. already has the mouth of a teenager, so. <laughs> Well, the apple don't <laughs> fall far from the tree, as they say. <laughs> oh, it's so great to have them out here and having fun. That's oh, what yeah. this is all about as families it, to me. It really, really is. That's what we were saying. Like, when you know you have to work it, and it, it's another day of, of, of work, it's one thing. But when you come out here with your loved ones and your friends, I mean, that just really is what this is all about. And, and some people never quit coming. My mom will be 88 next month, and she'll oh, let me come her. by myself. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and no one will ever allow you to, to, to skip a balloon fiesta either, Steve. Nope. Uh, it's been great fun. Great weather. Good job this year, Eddie. Hey, yeah. thank you, Steve. Uh, you know, it really is great working with you again. We've missed you at the station. We have. Oh, but, you. Uh, you know, uh, I think that when everyone comes out here, they're here for two things. And I think we ran an official poll on this. They're here for the balloons, <laughs> and they're here for Steve Stucker. Well, yeah. most of them you, are people I owe money to. <laughs> <laughs> you better get on it then. <laughs> no, it's been great. Really, really Very fun good. to be back. Well, right now the wind has picked up just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, there is a planned balloon glow for the annual eclipse, which starts right around 915. Uh, so Steve and I were talking about the fact, you know, sometimes the wind is a little tricky around this time of day. Yeah, to, to do a static like that where they just stand up and stay there, it can be much above about eight miles an hour, yeah. which is right about there now. So we'll see. So far, the weather has been very cooperative. We can't complain about the weather. And even if they don't get the glow, the real show is going to be the eclipse itself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. And everybody, remember, uh, you know, if, if you're going to be watching the eclipse, get those eclipse glasses. Regular sunglasses are not going to cut it. You want to be able to have your eyes for, you know, the, the, the rest of, the, of your life. Oh, so yeah. Don't <laughs> kind of important, hey, you know. Just, my advice. I know it's not <laughs> warranted, but yeah, there it is. Steve, you got your glasses ready? I, I, I have I have them ready and you know I even I even brought a pair of those alien glasses from the oh, Roswell Museum. There you they go. tell me they won't work either, so I have the real thing here. Okay. All I have to do is, is figure them out. So there you go. I time think, for us to go now. I think, I think you got it, Steve. Thank you all so much for joining us for this big day at Balloon Fiesta. We hope that the rest of your day is just gonna be spectacular. Yeah, everybody, thanks so much. It's always a pleasure to, to bring this show to your household. It's been a lot of fun. God bless. Have a great one.